Nya mwini mabrante fene eye shada. Ah, shada. Osi, wadi. Eye Elon Musk. Ene eye Donald Trump. Ana afinsu, nko foti ti ubi wa mwa Amerika. Udo wa mwa bagana. Nko mwa ne eye abrante ani din eh o ye yami o ye dj so ono e dj na me se se na kwa ni mo journalist ni ni ti se be bia level na du no ano odin yi pa eh abrante amekan asem a o ye ni interview e wo eh his fm andy dusty oni andy dusty e na ye interview ana sha da e di tu dwa se o di sanko fu ye gu screen su nyina bagana ah wo do bagana na e di e pan ti no so wo do mo bagana e di e pan no do mba be Nan si wosoba so ye president in ti o ko interviews a hudo e kana sem a dia o be ye president o be ye dia magana for no o ko interviews a no ka o din komo o chi chi m edwiano de mani jata di o mbi se bisan questions no so kikani yina jata o so o wano kwa si wot miri e kao ba kwa si kao mi ensan o se sen yin e week ya en o tode majata no kwa we na we kwa roni anid wosti e ye program no ena o chile se o di yelon maske mone e ye donald trump mo ene e ye Eh, ni nan fufubi wuko shishi yomu akwe yobo boksi yuko en refri dimi. Odo mungi na ba gana. Na, e diye no odi wamo babe ye. Yem kwenye yonko tiye, e ye abrante shada. Nse mwa oka. Right. Um, how well do you know our, our industry? I know, okay, for a fact that some time ago, you were involved. I think you 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 built, you you were supporting some acts, some musicians. I, I've always been involved. You know, um, I like show business. I'm with you. And you can see that most of my friends are from here. You know, I have friends who are footballers. I have friends who are musicians Simba's from style. Davido to Whiskey to Stoneboy to Shata. Everybody is my friend. Shata Wale. Everybody. I don't discriminate. When you go to the boxing sector, I have Azuma Nelson. I have Floyd Mayweather. You go to the model world. I have Naomi Campbell. I have Kate Moss. All the top people in the fashion industry, music industry, football industry. And I build studios to help you know the kids to come how, up how do you establish team. relationships with, with all of these giants i would answer you that in a minute but i just wanted to finish on your question right. that my investment in entertainment sector in the fashion sector has been big i've been supporting people from maoli okujato to kofi and same and may he rest in peace you know i've helped all of these people when we had the studios wonder world studios back in 2004 you know we mm -hmm. were preparing people like payday and all of this they were my friends before they came out whisked was my friend then you know he was building up he was just a studio boy so these guys have massive respect for me that how can i be doing business and still have time for their world and be able to sit down and talk with them and everything however i am not interested in being in their industry because mm. yes i like them i will advise them i will help them but i think my purpose is bigger than that my purpose is not just to be a footballer or to be a football agent my purpose is not to be a musician a rapper or some music producer my purpose now uh, all due respect enough respect to those people that's what they do but i feel like i have much more bigger purpose than that you know i'm here as a humanitarian philanthropist and i believe that the value that i can add to humanity is better for me than to extract from them than to take ten ten dollars and take gate fees for them to come and stand there and watch me or watch football or whatever it is i want to add value to society and that's why i've been focused on you know so even though i invested in those areas when i realized that the numbers didn't relate to me that much you know i kind of left it but i still connect with them i'm still with them so it's not like i'm not thinking about them i just think that when i get in that when i get to the industrial sector industrial power i'll be able to advise our in our industries of entertainment fashion and football how to structure themselves you know put these machines put these plants and connect to these people so you can distribute the product like itunes like spotify you know these are machines these are robots they're working <laughs> you know but we don't have it we are not interested in also getting it so some white man has bought them maybe the machines are in india they have somebody working 24 hours but they're taking money from everyone in this world and i that is the sort of mentality and knowledge that i want to bring into the industry so it's not like i've forgotten about it it's only little i can do now based on the power i have you know i can build my own hotels i can build my own museums and zoos but i can't change the world i need more i need more power I need more resources. I need more human resources to be able to effect this, to be able to make this work. Okay. Now back to the question of your establishment, your relationship. The relationship how? Yes. Yeah, I've always had a relationship management skills from when I was a kid. I remember when I was in school, 
you know, my mom used to give me one CD, which is probably one peso today, to go to school. I used to walk three miles to school, three miles back. And, mm. uh, yes, six miles a day. But the thing is... Where was this? Here in Accra? Yeah, in Kumasi, in not in International. Oh, really? Yeah. But the thing is, that one CD, I didn't spend it. I used to starve a lot. Because one day I bought five pockets, which was 20 pesos then, for my friends. And they were very happy. But my friends, I always made sure that they followed me. So that was my investment in them. I did things that made them pay attention to me, made them listen to me, made them follow my instruction, made them follow my command. But at the same time, I was a servant to them. I was a slave to them. So I think that's where I acquired my leadership skills. Now, what I want to tell you is that you are asking me, how do I have relationship with all of these people? These people are not just having relationship with me because I'm cheddar or because um, Nana Kwame Bidiako, or because I have this or I have that. They have this relationship with me because they see a higher level of leadership in me. They might be stars, but there's, there's a big difference in the stars and the moon. Well, for example, okay. in Naomi Campbell or Floyd Mayweather, who may have never heard of you or not met you before, how do you walk up to such a person and say, hey, I'm free object of Caesar? I don't, probably. Andy, it's just like how you've been liking me. You probably said that if, I, if you ever find me one-on-one, -on -one, you have some questions for me and all of that. So you see, before you meet me or before you even see me, you probably had some plans. But that's because there must have been some things that I've done or you heard about me that has caught your attention. So you're paying attention. But then when you meet me and we speak and then you resonate, you relate and you connect, that synergy is powerful. Nothing breaks it. I think that's what is happening. So I'm not seeing Floyd Mayweather as, oh, he's a legend, so he's... No, I'm not starstruck. I respect Floyd Mayweather. I respect Naomi Campbell, but I expect them to respect me the same way that huh, this young man had something that we don't even see in our industries. And I think it's exactly what is happening. But, you know, I think there are more people that I'm yet to, you know, bring to surprise Ghanaians, you know, from Trump to Elon Musk. And I'll show Ghanaians that I'm well connected. Like, you know, my my network is bigger than my net worth. Is that going to yeah. happen when you become president? Well, before, after, it doesn't matter. For me, being a president, also doesn't put me in any special zone it's still life goes on it's still responsibilities have to be taken and it's still accountabilities i need to just make sure that the old life i live is not rejected it's not neglected but it's just exponentially expanded it becomes bigger because the responsibilities become more and in a branch and it's a more about to jenny uh the nebota into a solo mobile watch each room now say what's all you see a quote kumasi and then call for and tear your barbell and thing as a barbell teacher in policy in the back. He said, One now and walk up a book or different interviews or so. And I see different platforms, different studios, different TV stations, and walk a dear or be a president or the baba or my gunning. Wait me to adventure about or see and call for win or don't bagana and then adventure and then this one you want to a long one. Watch it. Wait me so don't so. Why don't you ever be doing a dear corner of what I'm a dasy.